Good evening, guys. This is Phoenix198720 here to bring you the next episode of my Let's Talk About series. And today, yes, today we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch and how the Nintendo did not lie. They did not lie at all. They came out with a hybrid console. Probably one of the best ideas there was. Yes, the console wasn't on par with the PS4 per se, but it was pretty darn close. It was pretty darn close. And in about they released in March 2017. And I think by the time 2021 came out, people were crying that they wanted the next Switch. They wanted an upgrade Switch. They wanted something better. Nintendo said, no, uh, uh, uh. No, no, no. We're only halfway through. It is now 2023. And there is now tidbits that Nintendo has been working on the successor, the Nintendo codename NX Square. So... That right now, that, that points that it has to be a Nintendo Switch 2. Or whatever they're going to call it. They're going to call it Next Generation Switch. And they have leaked out due to the Microsoft and Sony and the battle going on court. That has came out that Nintendo Switch 2 is as powerful or just a little bit more powerful than the PS4. Which is great because now we're getting all these games. Shit, I have about 200... Eh, about 200 games for my Switch right now. And I'm still going crazy on it. It's a great sense of Nintendo did not lie at all when it came to certain things and what they said. They have brought many great first party and third party games. And yes, they have they have touched every one of our souls with a lot of the remasters they gave us as well. And ports and hell. Nobody expected. But we're getting Super Mario RPG, the remaster. And a lot of people who have never experienced, like this guy, is going to enjoy it. But Nintendo did not lie. They tried stuff with the console at the same time. And they have failed. But the console itself never failed. And we had, yes, a lot of lazy developers that did not try to develop. And we had a lot of developers go, you know what? We can max out that thing. And they couldn't even max it out. Because if they really wanted to. And we're going to take cloud gaming away. It's awesome that they had that. Week, but they could release a game. And it could go straight to digital. As big as, I don't know, 200 gigabytes. That would be massive. and Across all platforms. But, hey. The latest CODs are almost at 200 gigabytes now. So, that doesn't surprise me. Now, but the thing about it, when they do come out with the next Nintendo Switch 2 or whatever it's going to be called, the Switch Square, whatever it's going to be called, they have to keep one thing in mind. It has to be backwards compatible with all the current Switch games. So they have to run. They have to run. You have to keep a lot of features the same. They have to have Joy-Cons because they have Joy-Con games. They could probably redesign the Joy-Cons to be better. So you don't get the drift and stuff like that. Because, eh. Who wants that lawsuit? Nobody. But, again, Nintendo's been sued about a million times about the Joy-Con drift. And nothing gets changed. But they did not lie. They said they would fix them if they could. But, they again, they came out with great games. And they continue to bring greatness in their own little world to the gaming world. But again, Nintendo did not lie in a lot of things. They wanted this console to reach from one end to the other. And they're doing it. And they did not lie there. But at the same time, they're going for a record that a lot of people don't think that Nintendo can do. And I'm going to sit right here and say Nintendo can do. Right now, the PlayStation 2 holds the world record of the most consoles shipped and sold. I think it's 155 million units, somewhere around there. Don't quote me exact. I haven't looked up numbers, but it's around there. What a lot of people don't know is Sony PlayStation 2 was in production for 13 years to hit that record. And at one point, when the PS2 came out, 
They were cheaper than a DVD player, so they were a multi-tool entertainment system. Now, Nintendo Switch has only been out for seven years. They're om- they're almost at those numbers. Guaranteed, you give them two more years, they'll probably be at those numbers. If they decided, you know what, we're going to delay the Switch until 2025. You know what, doing that would work in a way. Yes, you get a little bit left behind on games that are coming out. But a lot of developers would still try to hit those targets. And Nintendo's not going to lie. Their their system is geared uniquely. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, it's not 4K, it's not 60 gigahertz, it's not 22 teraflops, it doesn't have 12 gigs of RAM, so it can't run, it's going to overheat. Yeah, that may be true. But if they came out with a new Switch and they upgraded, and even if they go from 4 gigs to, let's say, 12 gigs of RAM, people are still going to be pissed because... It's a hybrid console. And with a hybrid console, you need the other counterpart. So it's all great on handheld mode. Everything great. You're not going to notice any really difference. But it comes to the screen mode. And I think the dock has to play a big part in, in this in general. In general, they, they need to have... A special dock with some guts into it. And that's going to be your changer. You upgrade the minimum that you need for Nintendo Switch hardware. But the dock is where you put everything. You make a dock a little bit more beefy. Some, some, you know, some stuff in there that they can, you know, pump some power out. And that's where you're going to win. That's when it's going to take a turn from the PlayStation fans. And from the Xbox fans to be like, yo. Nintendo's going crazy over here. Even though they have been going crazy all their life, but Nintendo doesn't lie. Nintendo's going to push an agenda, and it's going to work. And it's really going to work. They may not push uh, virtual reality. Shit, Sony's been trying to do it for a while, and they can't get the shit right. So we'll leave that up for PC for PC gamers that can get the properly because consoles are just not powerful enough for it. I'm sorry, Sony, you guys had a great idea, but you're not even near to be close. And, uh, so Nintendo did not lie. They made it a minimum of seven years. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. That's seven years. Even if a console comes out, that's eight years. In 2024, that'd be eight years. Shit, if it hits 2025... Dude, that, that that's going good. That's that's gonna be like nine year old console, and it's gonna be flip. It's Nintendo's never had a console run as long as this. Uh, I should rephrase that. Nintendo hasn't had a home console have a run like this. Handheld consoles, oh yes. Nintendo is great with their handheld consoles and with their technology they do for that, and they've been able to exceed expectation with their handhelds. So. Y'all think Nintendo lied? I don't. But we'll see. Now, twenty, either really late in 2023 or early 2024, we will hear an announcement about Nintendo NX Squared. Now, I keep saying squared, and I say it uh, purposely. Just remember that. NX squared, Nintendo Switch squared. Just, just think about that and how they're wording that their code name, Nintendo NX squared. Now think about the GameCube. But that's all I got for today. I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Just remember, think about the GameCube until another day. This is your, your this is your boy Phoenix nineteen eighty seven twenty saying, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, fuckers. I'll see you in the next episode.